Today's discussion is all about integer programming. So integer programming is a model where one or more of the decision variables has to take on an integer value in a final solution. So when we say integer values, these are possibly whole numbers and it's either be a positive or a negative value. So solving an integer programming problem is much more difficult than solving an LP formulation or the linear programming formulation. But later on, we would be able to compare or distinguish um, similarities between integer programming and linear programming. Even the fastest computers can take an excessive long time to solve big integer programming problems. If requiring integer values is one way in which a problem deviates from a linear programming formulation, then it is an integer programming or in short that is IP problem. So the mathematical model for integer programming is a linear programming model with the one additional restriction that is the variables must be integer values. So we have different types of integer programming problems. We have three. The first one is the pure integer problems. Requires that all decision variables have integer solution. So later on we'll have also an example for this types of integer programming. The second one is the mixed integer problems. It requires some but not all of the decision variables to have integer values in the final solution, whereas others need not to have integer values. And then we have 0-1 integer problems or the so-called binary integer problems. It requires integer variables to have a value of 1 or 0 only, such as situations in which decision variables are of a yes or a no type considering um, let's say for example 0 is for no and 1 is for yes this is an example of a pure integer linear programming problem so if you could observe the decision variables and the objective functions and including the constraints is much similar with the with the linear programming that we had before. Here is another one example. Anyway, if you want to read these um, examples, these are available in your handouts given to you. Okay, we have there. For this example, we have three variables and also we have the objective function or constraints and if we, if you could observe here we have our um, non-negativity constraints if you could observe uh, the values of variable l m s should be integers we have here an example of a mixed integer linear programming problem so let me read Textile company can use any of any or all of the three different processes for weaving in standard white polyester fabric. Each of these production processes has a weaving machine set up cost and per square meter processing cost. These costs and the capabilities of each of the three production processes are shown below. So we have uh, four different columns as to the process numbers. Weaving machine set, you have the processing set and the maximum daily capacity. So given these uh, values, the daily demand forecast for its white polyester fabric is 
4,000 square meters. The company's production manager wants to determine the optimal combination of the product processes and their actual daily production levels such that the total production cost is minimized. So, basing from this word problem, we need to identify then what are the decision variables, the objective functions, and the constraints. Our decision variables for the mixed integer programming is quite different compared with the um, previous types of integer programming. For this one, we have let x sub j be the production level for the processes j. So if you could observe in the um, table, we have three processes. So these are the values of our j. So these, is, uh, these are the values of our j, 1, 2, 3. Also, let y sub j is equal to 1 if process j is used and y sub j is equal to 0 if the process j is not used. So 1 is if it is used and 0 if it is not used. Okay, so for this one that is already considered as a binary number it's either a one or a zero yes or a no so for this one it's either used or not used for the objective function we need to minimize z as to these following um, values so 15 x sub 1 plus 10 x sub 2 plus 8 x sub 3 plus the quantity of 150 y sub 1 plus 240y sub 2 plus 300y sub 3. So where did we come up with this um, objective function? So let's go back with the table we have here. For this part, these are the processing cost and the other one, moving machine set a cost. And then it is subject to x sub 1 plus x sub 2 plus x sub 3 those are our production level is equal to 4000 that is the daily diameter it's the 4000 square meters and the next one um, x sub 1 minus 2000 y sub 1 must be less than or equal to zero since we are dealing with the minimization the logical function should be less than or equal to. So where did we get 2000? That is the daily capacity of process 1. And then same is through for process 3 and process. So we have here x sub 2 minus 3000 y sub 2 should be less than or equal to 0. And then x sub 3 minus 3500 y sub 3 is less than or equal to 0 that is the daily capacity of process number 3 and then our non-negativity constraints that is the values of our x sub 1 x sub 2 and x sub 3 must be greater than or equal to 0 and our y sub j is either be a 0 or 1 if it's either not in use or in use and our three processes which are the j's 1 2 and 3. We have here another one that is the 0, 1 integer linear programming problem, the binary integer programming. Um, x sub 1 is equal to 1 if invest in project 1 and the value of x sub 1 is 0 if not. Okay, so we have same with the other example a while ago. For this um, situation, 1 if invested and zero if not and for this one we have the values of x sub 1 up to x sub 5 are binary numbers we have here um, one method in solving a integer linear programming problem specifically rounding off a non-integer solution this is a harrison electronic company so a company produces two products popular with home renovators, old-fashioned chandeliers and ceiling fans. Both the chandelier and fans require, uh, require a two-step production process involving wiring and assembly. It takes about two hours to wire each chandelier and...
hours to wire a ceiling fan. The final assembly of the chandeliers and fans requires 6 and 5 hours respectively. The production capability is such that only 12 hours of wiring time and 30 hours of assembly time are available. Each chandelier produced nets the firm uh, $7 and each fan is $6. Harrison's production mix decision can be formulated using the LPS values. So if you could observe this um, part, is similar with the LP formulation or the linear programming formulation. So we need to maximize our profit which is um, $7 x sub 1. So our um, x sub 1 is the chandelier produced plus $6 x sub 2 which is the number of ceiling fans produced. And then our constraints that is 2 x sub 1 plus 3x sub 2 is less than or equal to 12. So this is the wiring hours and 6x sub 1 plus 5x sub 2 is less than or equal to 30. That is our assembly hours and our non-negativity constraints x sub 1 and x sub 2 must be greater than or equal to 0. So here is our graphical solution for the Harrison Electric Company. So if you could observe, when using the uh, linear programming, here is our um, optimal solution, which is the value of x sub 1 is 3.75 and x sub 2 is 1.75. 35 wherein uh, we would be able to maximize our profit at uh, $35.25 but since we are dealing with the integer programming we are only dealing with whole numbers or integer numbers these points are a feasible solutions for this um, for this problem. Um, the product uh, production planner Wes recognizes this is an integer problem. His first attempt at solving it is to round the values 2, 4, and 2. However, it is not feasible. It's because the optimal solution is lesser than these two values. Okay, so we will not be able to um, arrive with this or optimal rounding down the value of the x sub 2 to 1 gives a feasible solution but it may not be optimal this problem um, could be solved using the enumeration method enumeration generally not possible for large problems so considering this one so if you could observe these are the possible points for the chandelier or which is the x sub 1 and these are the possible points for the x sub 2 and using the objective function which is the 7 times x sub 1 plus 6x sub 1 and um, these points were multiplied as to which we would be able to compute the optimal solution using the integer solution. So for this computed values, the optimal solution uh, for the integer programming problem with the Harrison Electronic Company that is at this point 5 for the x sub 1 and 0 for the x sub 2 wherein we would be able to uh, gain a profit up to $35 and we also have here a solution if we are just rounding the values based from the computed um, optimal solution in our uh, linear program so if the rounding of solution is being used this will be the result so since point x sub 2 round off to 1 so the solution is 34 but since there are still points that got the higher value which is um, 35 we consider this um, point 5 and 0 as our optimal solution to this integer programming problem rounding solution of x sub 1 is equal to 4 x sub 2 is equal to 1 gives us a profit of $34 but since we are looking for the maximum profit that we would be able to gain is we use the optimal solution which is the x sub 1 is equal to 5 and x sub 2 is equal to 0 which gives us a 35 dollars but take note that the optimal integer solution is 
less than the optimal um, linear programming solution. An integer solution can never, so take note, never be better than the LP solution and is usually a lesser solution. That is just a little point wherein uh, we will be able to compare um, integer program with the linear program. Okay, that is my reference. If you have questions, feel free to comment down below or simply message me. Thank you.